Honda isn't so much a car company as it is an engineering company. In addition to Accords and CRVs, they also make race cars, motorcycles, generators, weed whackers, robots, a freaking jet, and this thing, the Honda Unicub. Think of it like a Segway, except seated, slower, hands-free, and indoor only. So how do you ride it? It's actually really pretty simple. It all takes place with the power of leaning. So I'm sitting on the Unicub here and it has sensors that tell which direction it's leaning. And if I want to go that direction, I just kind of lean forward. If I want to turn to the left, lean a little bit to the left. If I want to turn to the right, lean a little bit to the right. I had the vague notion that when I came here to test the Unicub, I would try and fly it a bit like a helicopter. I wanted to do a pirouette where I just go down the hall here, but I'm spinning. But since you can't turn, uh, you know, ride the thing backwards, except in very, very brief seconds, that's, that's an impossibility. But you can do some OK Go style maneuvers. There, yeah. There, and going back the other direction. Yeah. The power of leaning. I don't know if this is impressing you. Does this, does this look impressive? <laughs> One of the key takeaways with riding the Unicub is that you kind of have to turn your brain off a little bit. You can't try and operate it like you would a car. You really need to just think about where you want to go. For example, I would love to go check out the Honda Spocket. I would say arguably my favorite concept car of all times. Let's think about that. The Spocket, do not touch. It speaks to the confidence that Honda has in the control scheme for the Unicub that they're willing to let me ride it next to what is an irreplaceable concept car. Well, if I were to just sort of crash into this, I would do unspeakable damage. Very, very expensive, irreplaceable parts. technology under the Unicub's, uh, we'll say, hood is pretty fascinating. This easily swappable lithium-ion battery pack charges in about an hour and a half and allows for one and a half hours of use or nearly four miles of range. Underneath lies Honda's Omni Traction Drive System, which swaps normal tire tread for rollers that can spin laterally, allowing the Unicub to move in any direction. At the moment, this baby's only available for lease in Japan, but there's talk about producing a larger version for the U.S. market. Oh, and just for the record, the 3.8 mile per hour top speed is not limited by aerodynamics, so riding in a tuck just makes you look stupid. If the Honda Unicub strikes you as goofball technology for the sake of technology, then shame on you. It actually serves a very, very valuable purpose. Some people can walk, but they can't walk for long distances. Maybe you have a heart problem, or maybe you have issues with your legs. The Unicub allows you to enjoy places like the semi-secret Honda Museum, or the mall, or other kind of flat areas without uh, you know, too much trouble. There's a real value in this kind of technology. One of the most important aspects of the Unicub is the fact that it's very small. In fact, it doesn't take up that much more space than you would normally as a human being, which allows you to squeeze through very narrow spots, like me past this S2000, coming past this Honda Civic DX from 1991, all the way to you in the camera. Obviously, I don't need to use the Unicub. I've got two perfectly good legs. But when you were a kid, didn't you think about the future and hope that this is the kind of stuff that would exist? So until Honda's robot Osimo can carry me from my automated car to my Honda jet, I think the Honda Unicub will be the coolest thing on one wheel. <laughs>